Hello, welcome to Canopy Quick Start. I'm Chris Holt, one of the authors of Canopy. Uh, in this video, I'll talk about a few different things. I'll show you how you can use Canopy to make your UI automation easier, and if you want to use it for uh, automated testing, how to make that simpler. You can use Canopy as an excellent introduction to F Sharp uh, because it provides a low barrier of entry. It's a DSL, so it's easy to learn. It's not production code, so it's easy to convince people to give it a shot, and if things don't work out, it's not a big deal. We'll see how to get started with the installation, how to run the examples, and then uh, provide you a link at the end uh, to the source code so you can download it. You can download the source code here uh, on GitHub. My handle is left-handed goat, and the repository name is Canopy Starter Kit. So you can, you can just download it on Windows or on Mac or Linux. It works on all of them. Well, once you have uh, the code downloaded, you can go to the, the, from the command line, go to the project. And from shell, you can do uh, build sh. From Windows, you can do build.cmd. And if you just run that, it will download all of the NuGet packages, and then it will run the tests. The tests are going to open up two browsers. The browser on the left is the uh, results of the test. Uh, the, the browser on the right-hand side is the test page. And there's only a few tests. And you can see that uh, three tests passed and one test skipped. Okay, I've moved here to the source code. Uh, there's a file called test.fs, and that's where the tests that you want to run are listed. And you can break your tests into like a smoke test that run really fast or your full test. We'll just look at the smoke test here for the different actions that Canopy has. Uh, this is a subset of tests. It's just an example application that you can download and, and modify to uh, point to your website and have tests that are meaningful for you. So we defined a context here called uh, smoke actions. And before each test runs, we're going to go to the URL of our page, which we defined in another file. And then in this first test here, we have a description here in orange, and then we have a function body. Uh, the body of the test is going to clear the first name, and first name is just a selector uh, for an input with an ID of first name. And then we're going to verify using the equal equal operator that the selector on the left hand side is equal to the value on the right hand side. And th it's, it has all kinds of built in intelligence, so if your page is a single page app or has some AJAX and the data hasn't come back yet, uh, it'll try and try again until t two things are true. One, the data is on the screen, and two, that it equals the value they have. And if it can't, uh, in, a, in a time limit, then the test will fail, but it has uh, all the built-in retriability. Uh, here's a second test, uh, very similar. We're going to clear out the last name, and we're going to set the last name using the arrow arrow operator. We're going to type in the last name box, Smith, and then we're going to evaluate that. Uh, this arrow arrow operator works for drop-down lists, input, text areas, all the various HTML elements. It smooths over all the kind of idiosyncrasies of, uh, of HTML and makes it uh, nice and easy for you to use. So you can find more examples of Canopy on the Canopy website. You can find that here, uh, left-handed goat uh, github io slash canopy, or you can just Google Canopy F Sharp. It'll be the first result. And if you scroll down here on the right-hand side, there are uh, documentation for all the different actions you can do with code samples, and you can even highlight and get kind of uh, code hints. Uh, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter as Left Handed Goat, and you can see all the repositories I have, including Canopy, the Canopy Starter Kit, and other things that I work on on GitHub uh, slash Left Handed Goat.